This presentation discusses the descriptive inorganic chemistry of lanthanides and actinides group. The lanthanides were first discovered in 1787, when an unusual black mineral was found in Iterby, Sweden. This mineral, now known as gadolinite, was later separated into the various lanthanide elements. In 1794, Professor Gadolin obtained yttria, an impure form of yttrium oxide, from the mineral. In 1803, Berzelius and Kleproth secluded the first cerium compound. Later, Mosley used an X-ray spectra of the elements, to prove that there were 14 elements between lanthanum and hafnium. The rest of the elements were later separated from the same mineral. These elements were first classified as rare earth, due to the fact that obtained by reasonably rare minerals. Like any other series in the periodic table, such as the alkali metals or the halogens, the lanthanides share many similar characteristics. These characteristics include the following, similarity in physical properties throughout this series adoption mainly of the plus 3 oxidation state. Usually found in crystalline compounds they can also have an oxidation state of plus 2 or plus 4, though some lanthanides are most stable in the plus 3 oxidation state. Adoption of coordination numbers greater than 6 usually 8 to 9 in compounds tendency to decreasing coordination number across the series A preference for more electronegative elements, such as O or F binding very small crystal field effects little dependence on ligands ionic complexes undergo rapid ligand exchange. One property of the lanthanides that affect how they will react with other elements is called the basicity. Basicity is a measure of the ease at which an atom will lose electrons. In other words, it would be the lack of attraction that a cation has for electrons or anions. In simple terms, basicity refers to how much of a base a species is. For the lanthanides, the basicity series is the following, in other words, the basicity decreases as the atomic number increases. Basicity differences are shown in the solubility of the salts and the formation of the complex species. Another property of the lanthanides is their magnetic characteristics. The major magnetic properties of any chemical species are a result of the fact that each moving electron is a micromagnet. The species are either diamagnetic, meaning they have no impaired electrons, or paramagnetic, meaning that they do have some impaired electrons. The diamagnetic ions are La3+, Lu3+, Yb2+, and Ce4+. The rest of the elements are paramagnetic. The metals have a silvery shine when freshly cut. However, they can tarnish quickly in air, especially CE, LA and U. These elements react with water slowly in cold, though that reaction can happen quickly when heated. This is due to their electropositive nature. The lanthanides have the following reactions, oxidize rapidly in moist air. Dissolve quickly in acids. Reaction with oxygen is slow at room temperature but they can ignite around 150 to 200 degrees C. React with halogens upon heating. Upon heating, react with S, H, C and N. The size of the atomic and ionic radii is determined by both the nuclear charge and by the number of electrons that are in the electronic shells. Within those shells, the degree of occupancy will also affect the size. In the lanthanides, there is a decrease in atomic size from Lada to Lu. This decrease is known as the lanthanide contraction. The trend for the entire periodic table states that the atomic radius decreases as you travel from left to right. Therefore, the lanthanides share this trend with the rest of the elements. The color that a substance appears is the color that is reflected by the substance. This means that if a substance appears green, the green light is being reflected. The wavelength of the light determines if the light would be reflected or absorbed. Similarly, the splitting of the orbitals can affect the wavelength that can be absorbed. This is turn would be affected by the amount of unpaired electrons. Each known lanthanide mineral contains all the members of the series. However, each mineral contains different concentrations of the individual lanthanides. The three main mineral sources are the following, monzit, 
contains mostly the lighter lanthanides. The commercial mining of Mons of Sands in the United States is centered in Florida and the Carolinas. Xenotime contains mostly the heavier lanthanides. Euxenite contains a fairly even distribution of the lanthanides. Metals and alloys The pure metals of the lanthanides have little use. However, the alloys of the metals can be very useful. For example, the alloys of cerium have been used for metallurgical applications due to their strong reducing abilities. Non-nuclear the lanthanides can also be used for ceramic purposes. The almost glass-like covering of a ceramic dish can be created with the lanthanides. They are also used to improve the intensity and color balance of arc lights. Nuclear like the actinides, the lanthanides can be used for nuclear purposes. The hydrides can be used as hydrogen moderator carriers. The oxides can be used as diluents in nuclear fields. The metals are good for being used as structural components. They can also be used for structural alloy modifying components of reactors. It is also possible for some elements, such as TM, to be used as portable X-ray sources. Other elements, such as U, can be used as radiation sources. The first actinides to be discovered were uranium by Kleproth in 1789 and tarium by Berzelius in 1829, but most of the actinides were man-made products of the 20th century. Actinium and protactinium are found in small portions in nature, as decay products of 253 uranium and 238 uranium. Microscopic amounts of plutonium are made by neutron capture by uranium, and yet occur naturally. Mons it is the principal thorium ore. It is a phosphate ore that contains great amounts of lanthanides in it. The main uranium ore is U308 and is known as pitch blend because it occurs in black, pitch-like masses. Actinides have common properties, all are radioactive due to instability. Majority synthetically made by particle accelerators creating nuclear reactions and short-lasting. All are unstable and reactive due to atomic number above 83 nuclear stability. All have a silvery or silvery white luster in metallic form. All have the ability to form stable complexes with ligands, such as chloride, sulfate, carbonate and acetate. Many of the actinides occur in nature, as sea water or minerals. They have the ability to undergo nuclear reactions. The emission of radioactivity, toxicity, Pyrophoricity and nuclear criticality are properties that make them hazardous to handle. The interaction of actinides when radioactive with different types of phosphors will produce pulses of light. The electron configurations of the actinides are due to the following. The energy in the 6d orbitals is lower in energy than in the 5f orbitals. They fill 5f orbital, 6d orbital, then 7s orbital. The 5f orbitals are not shielded by the filled 6s and 6p subshells. There is a small energy gap between the 5fn7 s2 and 5fn1, 6d7 s2 configurations. The 5f orbitals do not shield each other from the nucleus effectively. The energies of the 5f orbital drop rapidly with increasing atomic number. The chemistry of different actinides. First, Actinium. Its chemistry is dominated by plus 3 oxidation state. Its compounds are colorless. There are 29 known isotopes. It does not have absorption in the UV visible region between 400-1000 and M. 227 AC is strongly radioactive and so are its decay components. Actinium metal is silvery solid, obtained by reduction of oxide fluoride or chloride W group 1 metals, and oxidized rapidly in moist air. It forms insoluble fluoride and oxalate AC2C2O4, 3, 10 H2O compounds. Thorium. It exhibits the plus 4 oxidation state exclusively. The chemistry in the plus 2 and plus 3 oxidation state is restricted to iodides like Th2 and cyclopentadienyl THC5H5. 3. It has wide coordination chemistry with oxygen donor ligands. 
Thorium metal is bright and silvery white, and tarnishes to a dull black color when exposed to air. It is soft enough to be scratched with a knife and melts at 1750 degrees. It slowly dissolves and dilute with hydrogen evolution, and can be pyrophoric as a powder. Protactinium It has been in existence longer than any other actinide. 231 Ba has a half-life of 3.28. 1014, which allows it to make chemical study easy for it. It has emission, so it has appropriate radiochemical precautions. The paw metal is malleable, ductile, silvery, and has a melting point of about 1565 degrees C. It is also a superconductor. Uranium Many compounds exist between the oxidation states of plus 3 to plus 6. The main oxidation states are plus 4 and plus 6. Stability of OS Uranium-3 plus reduces to hydrogen. Uranium-4 plus stable in aqueous solution in the absence of air. Uranium-5 plus disproportionates rapidly into a mixture of U4 plus and U6 plus in aqueous solutions. Uranium-6 plus stable in aqueous solutions. When pure it has a silvery appearance. When attacked by air, yellow film and black coating develops, it is a mix of oxide and nitride. Powder metal is pyrophoric in air. Reacts readily with hot water to prevent substances from coming into contact in nuclear reactors. Neptunium It was the first transuranium element to be discovered in 1940. There are 15 known isotopes, only 237 NP, W half-life of 2.14. 106 years, is useful for chemical experiments. It exhibits oxidation state of plus 3 to plus 7 in compounds. It is a silvery metal, with a melting point of 637 degrees C and a boiling point of 4174 degrees. It has surface oxidation when exposed to air. It is converted to NPO2 at high temperatures. Plutonium. There are 15 known isotopes. The masses range from 232 to 246. The most important isotope is 239 Pu, because it is fissionable, and has a half-life of 24,100 years, which makes it easy for chemists to study. It exhibits oxidation state from plus 3 to plus 7. The plus 3 and plus 4 oxidation state are the most important, but compounds of the ions are well defined. Pu plus 7 only exists under very alkaline conditions. It has six allotropic metal forms, which makes it unusual. They can form at normal pressure between room temperature and its melting point, 640 degrees. It is dense, silvery and a reactive metal, more reactive than uranium or neptunium. When attacked by air, it forms a green-gray oxide coating. It reacts slowly with cold water faster with dilute H2SO4, and dissolves quickly in dilute hydrochloric acid or hydrobromic acid. Americium. It has 12 known isotopes. It was first made in 1944 to 1945 by Seaborg and his co-workers, where they decayed 239 Pu and 241 Pu to 241 AM, which has a half-life of 433 years. 241 AM and 243 AM, which has a half-life of 7380 years are the most important isotopes, because their half-lives allow scientists to study their characteristics. The metal is a slivery, ductile and very malleable. It tarnishes in air slowly and dissolves in dilute hydrochloric acid quickly. It reacts with heating with oxygen, halogens, and other nonmetals. Later actinide centimeters, BK, CF, S, FM, MD, NO, and LR. Their chemistry is of mostly the M plus 3 state. They all form binary compounds, such as tree halides. Curium, berkelium, and californium have the following chemistry. Oxidized by air to the oxide. Electropositive. Reacts with hydrogen on warming to form hydrides. Yields compounds on warming with group 5 and group 6 non-metals.
Knowing about the solubility and precipitations of actinides, help chemists understand their properties better. Not all actinides have the same properties, when it comes solubility and precipitation, but most of the actinides have similar traits and characteristics. The fluorides, hydroxides and oxalates of actinides have low solubilities. The lighter trivalent, having a valence of three electrons, are unstable in aqueous solutions, such as transplutonium elements. The actinides of light weight have a higher valence, for example, oxidation states of 4, 5 and 6, where they are more stable, and they form compounds with low solubility. Trivalent actinides can be separated from slightly acidic solutions as phosphates, mildly acidic solutions as oxalates, strongly acidic solutions as fluorides, and from basic solutions, as hydroxides or hydrous oxides. Hydrogen peroxide precipitates Pu plus 4, Th plus 4, Ce plus 4, U plus 4, Np plus 4 and Pa plus 4. Pu plus 4, Th plus 4, Np plus 4, UO plus 2 and all trivalent actinides are precipitated by carbonate-free ammonium hydroxide. The solubility of actinide hydroxides or hydrous oxides in strong ammonium carbonate solutions allow the separation or uranium and thorium from other members of the ammonium hydroxide group, such as Fe, T, Al and other rare earth metals. Thorium can be precipitated from ammonia with aluminum or from aluminum, as a fluoride or oxalate. Uranium is precipitated with hydrogen sulfide, unless a complexing agent is present such as tartaric acid C4H606, and can be precipitated with ammonium sulfide, unless ammonium carbonate is present. Actinides are used in different fields. Plutonium and uranium are used as nuclear fuels and in weaponry. Thorium though too was used as an incandescent gas mantle from the 1880s. They are now used for cooking, gas lanterns, and for decorative gas lights. The 238 plutonium isotope powered the Apollo 12 lunar mission as left behind generator. It generated under 1.5 kW of heat converted to electricity by thermoelectric elements. Was a power source for orbiting satellites and missions to take pictures of Jupiter. Powers pacemakers for the heart. The nuclear energy creates a longer lifetime use of the device. The 241 americium isotope is used as ionizing sources for smoke detectors. Uranium is used in nuclear reactors in the form of fuel and rods suspended in water under a pressure of 70 to 150 atmospheres.